Walk on the Wild Side is a project bringing Hampshire's black and minority ethnic communities together to discover the countryside. The aim of the project is to provide Hampshire's diverse communities with a range of experiences of the natural environment, to learn new skills, to have fun and to gain the confidence to visit again in the future. The Countryside Service has been working with a number of local groups, including the Nepalese communities in Winchester and Rushmore, the Ferrum and Gosport Multicultural Society and Hampshire's Filipino community. This film focuses on the Nepalese community who were invited to pit down to meet their local rangers, navigate their way to the site using maps, take part in some conservation work and build a campfire together. This was uh, an event which really tried to introduce them to the project. It was their, their first time coming out, uh, so we wanted to give them an idea of uh, really what the local countryside has to offer for them in their area. This sort of project gives uh, people like me an opportunity to come and go back to nature. Simple things like cutting down a tree and you know collecting those twigs and making fire, it makes you creative, so I think it's very it's very good for young people like me and my friends around here. It, it, you know, it gives us a chance to set off our stress and, you know, and make us happy. The event was also an opportunity for us to talk with the community to find out what their experience of the countryside has been before when they were in Nepal. And it was also a chance for them to sort of talk to us about the sorts of things they'd like to do when they get out there into the countryside. Today we had uh, an opportunity to read a map and come he get here. Learning simple things like uh, reading a map is wonderful. It may not look a big deal but then it does make a difference. Yeah. The biggest growing ethnic minority group we have in Winchester now are the Nepalese and they are an enthusiastic community. They always want, want to be involved in community matters, finding out information. They are making links with other services, you know, through actually working with this this service. So long may it continue really. I uh, staying to a uh, city then so crowded not they're not ready to play learn to something about it um, a countryside then like uh, see to bot animals so many things. It's very beautiful, very nice this one. It's an opportunity for elderly people, the Gurkhas to come here and you know uh, not just young people, even elderly benefit out of this project. It's always good to be close to nature, so yeah, I think it will continue. I'm definitely coming back with my family, with my mom. She's not here today, but I'll bring her here someday, yeah. The Nepalese community in Rushmore is another great example of where we've built up a relationship between the community and our countryside site staff. They've been coming out onto Yateley Common um, for a few months now um, to help us with conservation work. By sort of talking to them about what they want to get out of it, um, we've been able to sort of cater it to their interests. Each time we get more and more volunteers because they go back and tell the rest of the community what they've done and they all want to come back. We are like from the group, it's called Mother Summer. In English we call Nepalese Help. It was formed in 2008. It was helped to help the elderly people who were coming from Nepal to here to help them to integrate. They can't speak English, so they want to contribute as much as they can by doing things. काटते गाँव में ते घर मले ये रूख काटने नहीं मन लगता मले ये सब रूख घरन काट देंगे काट पेंडर काम Having projects like this just gives people an opportunity where they can join in and give something back. And so using the skills that they can give enables them to be part of the community, which is really important. As well as volunteering, the Nepalese elders have been attending practical workshops with the rangers so that they can learn about the local environment and be thanked for their voluntary contribution to the countryside. 
This morning we're going to do pond dipping and they're out pond dipping at the moment and uh, we're just seeing what they can find. And then this afternoon we're going to do some bug hunting in the woods and the grass and things and see what different bugs live where. There's uh, definitely a relationship here between uh, them volunteering and giving something back and then us also having time for them to, to support them in terms of uh, really cementing their relationship and their connection with nature. Oh, they're learning a lot. Yeah, they, they are a surprise and very interesting, you know, impressing about this, you know. They want to integration with the English people because they are a better in the language, you know. They are, nowadays, they are just a little bit English. Integration is important. There are more insects than there are any other species. I think this Walk on the Wild Side project has been really beneficial in helping people grow in confidence and the sense of community that they have where they've joined in with other people from this area to, to run the project where maybe they can't talk to each other but they're communicating all the time so they're developing those skills too. Danebury Hillfort is a nationally recognised ancient monument. The Nepalese young people visited the Museum of the Iron Age in Andover to find out about the local history and then visited the site supported by the Countryside Service. The children hopefully have learned a few things about the Iron Age, i.e. when it was and how many people lived here and what they used to eat and do. What has been really good about this project actually is, is finding out how the communities want to use the countryside in their own way and sort of opening it up and doing things that we perhaps wouldn't normally do. For example, they were playing a game called Cabody, uh, where the younger people got to, to, for the first time, to play the game um, as their grandparents and parents would have played in Nepal. So it was really a chance for them to sort of use the countryside in their own way, which is what this project is about. Kite flying is a traditional uh, activity in Nepal and it's really popular out there. And, but since the Nepalese group have, have come to the UK, they haven't really practiced this tradition. So what we really, really wanted to do was allow the, the elder people in the group to kind of pass on those skills uh, to the younger people. I haven't done it since I came back, but I came here from Nepal. It's really like one's back, most memories, I guess. Kite flying is very famous in Nepal. Nepalese culture. Children who some are born here and then they don't know the idea what is kite. Even they some some are they don't know hearing the name. So this time with the support of the you know countryside project and then we we able to get opportunity to make the how to make the kite. It is very important because we need to protect our culture. Countryside has been an adventure because you can hear the birds and it's like you feel that natural. When they fly the kites, at first I couldn't control it, but then once the string got bigger and bigger and bigger, it started to be controlled and it went really high. This project helps mainly British culture, British ancient history, and the social activities like this. And then if we know about that, then we can able to integrate, able to com uh, compare with the Nepalese culture. It is very good. I would like to thank for the countryside project. The project has been really successful so far. Uh, there's so, been so many groups that are really keen to get involved, but we're also really always uh, willing to hear from the communities that understand what they want to do in the countryside and understand their own, own cultural activities. <laughs> The countryside is always going to be there and we're very keen to keep working with all the different communities that we have in Hampshire to make sure that they can understand and appreciate and be a part of the countryside.